I'm Lainey Kral from The Moment, a site about thoughtful, elevated living. I truly believe that style does not have to be compromised by living responsibly. This show is all about conscious entertaining, so we need to ask the right questions. Where does our food come from? How should we set the table? Who's in our community that we can support? It's about living mindfully. Welcome to our journey as we explore how to entertain consciously. This is The Table. A friend told me about BY's Vineyards in Sonoma County. They practice sustainable farming, so I'm very interested in trying their wines. I'm having a little wine tasting with okay. some friends. Okay, great, great. And I was hoping you could help me pick out some wines. Absolutely, we've got lots of great wines we could share. Uh, some great pairings for charcuterie, so oh, yeah. Oh yeah, perfect. Okay, okay uh, cool. I thought we'd take a little walk down the vineyard if you oh want to see a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Uh, mostly we, we make Pinot Noir and Cabernet are our two main varietals, but we do a little Chardonnay, a little Rosé, and some seasonal wines like that, in addition to the, uh, the core of the wines being the Pinots and the Cabs. So this is where the magic starts here in the cave. We, uh, we make the wines in here, age the wines in here, of course, as you can see in barrels. Yeah, so this particular Chardonnay is from the Sonoma Coastal area, and so it's a little crisper, a little brighter than a typical oaky Chardonnay. Some nice acidity, which really cuts nicely through some, some cheese selections. And then, you know, as you know, Pinot Noir, typically a lighter bodied red. Uh, so looking for something a little more subtle, but still uh, and looking for those earthy tones from the coastal area of Sonoma, um, from actually the Russian River area. Uh, I think wonderful with the sea hive, in fact, in this particular pairing. Finish off with the Willamette Valley Pinot. A little more resolved, a little more bottle age to it. But just a beautiful restraint in the wine. It can certainly stand up to some heavier meats or even a heavier charcuterie because it will cut through the uh, fat and the protein of the, the item. And so it really makes an interesting flavor combination when you're pairing those sort of things. Oh, I love that one. You do? I think Excellent. This one and this one are my favorite. Oh, great. Yeah, those are nice contrasts as well. Yeah. Definitely the Chardonnay, too. Chardonnay? Yeah. It's, uh, the freshness of the shard is great with, with food. But as you can see, you know, we really farm organically, sustainably, and so Brian and Rhonda really have that in their mind, really thinking about the property. You know, particularly since the fact that they live here, they want to keep a natural environment. And any good farmer will tell you that less is more in the sense of if you have to you know, use uh, chemicals in the vineyard that you're going to compromise the flavor of the wine. Here the soil is all on hillsides are quite thin. The vines have to struggle a little bit more, uh, which makes, again, more intensity of the flavor. Um, and therefore better quality wine as well, so, oh. which is our goal here at BY, so. Well, thank you so much for no, coming thank and you. thank you for your purchase. I so appreciate it. Oh, you're I welcome. so much. I hope you have fun with the wines and yeah, uh, sharing them with your friends and having a fun cheese and charcuterie yeah, party, so. I'm so excited. Okay, great. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So nice to thank meet you. Thank you very much. Okay, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Their wines are so beautifully balanced. I'm looking forward to sharing these with my friends.